Good evening, people watching my 65, Lisa Boyce. I'm going to give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ shed his blood for all of our sins, past, present, future, was buried and rose again on the third day according to scripture. We're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone, not of ourselves, not of works, least any man should boast. We, it is grace, something we didn't earn, something we don't deserve, that God gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him will not perish but have eternal life. How do you come to that? You admit you're a sinner in need of Christ. You put your faith and trust in him and accept him as Savior and you're saved, justified by the blood of Jesus. Rapture ready, which is, looks like it's going to happen sooner than we think. And sealed until the day of redemption, which means you will not lose your salvation. The Holy Spirit will indwell in you. The Holy Spirit will lead you, guide you. The Holy Spirit is your best friend. The Holy Spirit will change you. I got a lot of news. Something is going on as we speak. Now, I got three articles from Hal Turner and I got RT here. Um, the Kerch Strait Bridge reportedly under Ukraine missile attack right now. Numerous reports are coming in as of 2.44. Um, PM earlier. So th I got the same thing from RT. Um, then I got this from Hal Turner. Now listen very carefully to this. Well, I'm going to give you this last. Hold on just a second. Um, the air defense systems have been activated near Crimea Bridge. So, folks, everything is coming. It's happening quick. So the air defense systems have been activated in the city of Kerch, near, in the vicinity of the Crimean Bridge. An advisor to Crimean governor said on Thursday evening, videos are circulating on social media shows what looked like a missile piercing the night sky and sounds of explosions. Um, Oleg, I can't pronounce his last name, posted a short message on his telegram saying, that according to preliminary information, air defense systems has been activated in Kerch. Um, there was a sound similar to that of thunder with car alarms going off as a result. Um, the operator of the Crimean Bridge, which links the peninsula to the Russian mainland, told journalists that there have been no traffic disruptions along the transport artery as of yet. Um, now listen to this very carefully. This also came in at the same time. I mean, I, I got bombarded with all this all of a sudden. Ukraine planning a nuclear provocation on Friday, tomorrow. Now, it says Kiev is set on attacking the Zeporozhye nuclear power plant during a visit by the UN chief. The Russian military claims. Now, hmm, Ukraine plan. Now, this is, they're getting news. They're getting sources. And it's saying here, Ukraine plans to carry out artillery strikes on the Russian-controlled Zaporizhzhi or Zaporizhzhi nuclear power plant on Friday and then accuse Russia of casting, causing a disaster at the site. Um, the Russian Defense Ministry said on today, the predicted attack will be timed to coincide with the ongoing visit to Ukraine by UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres. The Russian, uh, the minister, uh, the ministry claimed. The Russian ministry said it has detected movements of Ukrainian troops indicating a looming provocation. Kiev has deployed units trained in responding to the use of weapons and weapons of mass destruction, pre-positioning them to report a radiation leak and demonstrate a purported action to mitigate it. And this is from the Russian military spokesman. The ministry said it expects a Ukrainian artillery attack to attack the plant on Friday. They're telling every, all their employees to stay home tomorrow. 
They're, t they're saying that an artillery unit to attack the plant on Friday from the city of uh, Nikopol. The blame for the consequences of the strike will be attributed to the Russian armed forces. The statement said. In a separate statement on Thursday, Igor uh, Karolov, who heads Russia's nuclear, biological, and chemical defense troops, said his directorate has modeled possible scenarios for a disaster at the Zaporozhye plant. A plume of radioactive material from the site may reach Poland, Slovakia, and Germany, he warned. Russia has accused Ukraine of conducting frequent drone and artillery strikes against the nuclear power plant in the city over the past few weeks. Kiev has denied responsibility and said Russian forces um, were attacking the plant to discredit Ukraine. Ukrainian officials have also claimed that Russia is using the Zaporozhye uh, facility as a military base. Uh, during the briefing, um, it was denied. Ukrainian claims that Russia has deployed heavy weapons at the Zaporozhye plant and is attacking Ukrainian troops from, from the site. The only Russian troops at the, at the facility are lightly armed guards providing physical security. As that came out, this came out. And I got another one. Russia deploys three MiG-31 fighter jets armed with nuclear-capable hypersonic missiles on very high alert to his European enclave of Kaliningrad in a fresh threat to NATO. Russia has deployed three new fighters armed with nuclear-capable missiles to his European enclave in a fresh threat to NATO. The MiG-31 jets uh, landed at an air base in Kaliningrad, which borders NATO members Poland and Lithuania today. Um, the jets are specifically modified MiG-31K variants, meaning they can carry uh, Kenzal or Dagger hypersonic missiles, which can be armed with nuclear warheads and fly at 12 times the speed of sound, which Putin says make them unstoppable. Then I got this. Now this is, this is off the Daily Mail. I got this and it says rehearse. I got all this at the same time. Rehearsal for catastrophe. They're rehearsing for this. So Zelensky sounds warning over nuclear drills amid fears for seized power plants. So he has warned that a possible nuclear catastrophe as Kiev held drills near the atomic plant seized by Russia. Zelensky lashed out at Moscow over its nuclear blackmail at the Zaporozhye station, the latest, the, uh, the largest in Europe. Both sides had traded allegations blaming the other for, other for shelling the plant um, throughout the six month history. Now, let me put it like this. I don't think people realize what's going on here because if that plant is already leaking, is already the cooling uh, systems are already leaking. If that plant gets hit and those fumes go to Russia, Russia will have no choice but to annihilate that town, that whole, just level it. Guess what happens then? NATO gets involved, everybody gets involved at that point. This I can't tell you how serious this is right now. Now, I got this from Hal Turner, and this is interesting. Earlier this week, it says that he received two reports that Walmart had allegedly canceled billions of dollars in orders. Now, let me read the whole thing because it goes hand in hand with what's going on right now. 
It says, I was not able to get more specific info on the specific types of products or specific uh, suppliers or specific country of origin. A few minutes later, he got this. He said his wife works for Amazon and they just canceled 40% of the marketing budget, froze hiring and canceled all employees, tra all employee travel today. It was done in a course of about an hour. Here's the thing. You can't tell me something isn't about to happen because something is about to happen and I'm praying it's the rapture. And I would advise you to pray for the same thing. If these claims prove true, this is a major indicator of something very bad that's about to happen, especially the travel part. Amazon Web Services have uh, assets in Taiwan, China, and Eastern Bloc countries. Two days ago, now this is Ukraine. Listen very carefully to this. Two days ago, he said he got word the U.S. NATO ship bore nuclear artillery uh, shells to Ukraine. Word was that the Ukrainians were, use, were to use those shells to hit the nuclear power plant, the Zaporozhye uh, nuclear power plant. A nuke artillery shell would certainly be able to penetrate a reactor containment building and even a relatively tiny nuke blast would rupture a reactor causing a radiation leakage disaster. But they claim the fact that a nuke artillery shell was used will be masked by the reactor leaking radiation. So Ukraine would blame the Russians for mishandling the reactor, causing it to blow up, when in reality, you guessed it, Ukraine caused it. It goes on to say, I thought that was a bit over the top, especially since the U.S. unilaterally ended the nuclear artillery manufacturing and dismantled all their nuclear shells in 2004. However, not all NATO countries did the same thing. So it's possible there are a few nuclear artillery shells still around. And if the U.S. NATO are actually the, the madmen <laughs> that they are, then some somebody could come up with something like this. Now, this goes on to say there is a major offensive taking place in Ukraine, and it's happening since yesterday. Russian artillery was literally pounding every part of 150 kilometers long front line. Today, Ukraine hit back inside Russia itself, which blasts in um, Belgorod. Then we have numerous reports of Ukraine missiles fired at the Kerch Strait Bridge. All of this is fact because I just read some of this off of RT. Um, two hours after the alleged missile attack against the Kerch Strait Bridge, air raid sirens sounded off in Ukraine. I just read that off of RT. So now, to look at the alleged Walmart order cancellations and the AWS 40% marketing budget cut, hiring freeze, employee travel plan, along with what has already been verified about Russia and the nuclear power plant being told to stay home. These people are being told to stay home tomorrow. I wonder what's going to happen. But like I said, I'm going to say something, and I, I said it a few minutes ago. They hit the power plant. Russia will have no choice but to level Ukraine. And guess what that's going to start? That's going to start all kinds of people pushing that button. 
I said it before and I'll say it again. If you don't believe in the rapture, you better start you better start praying for it now. Because this is awfully close. This is awfully close. I'm gonna link all of these are and oh and this came out too. And I if anybody lives in San Diego, uh I don't know what's going on here. I just got this two hours ago. Chaos at the San Diego airport as terminals are in, evacuated with passengers on the plane and the pl they're telling people to return to TSA security. I have no idea what's going on. I'm trying to find it. I can't find it. I don't know whether this, but it looks like it just happened today. I've been to San Diego airport. It's a nightmare. But I, I I will link this also in the description box. It's so much happening right now. I just got bombarded with stuff. But I will keep track. If anything goes off, I will let you know. In the meantime, I will be back probably later. Thank you.